जय श्री कृष्ण दिस इज़ कविता फ्रॉम हैदराबाद एंड यू आर लिसनिंग टू द पॉडकास्ट ऑफ भगवद गीता एपिसोड वन फॉर द पीपल वो लव एज यू नो दिस ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी चेंज इट पीपल इन बिजी लाइफ एंड डोंट हैव टाइम टू रीड बुक्स एज अ स्मॉल ट्रायल आई एम स्टडिंग तात्पर्य ऑफ भगवद गीता फॉर पीपल हु कैन नॉट स्टडी भगवद गीता स्लोकास and some of you do not understand the meaning so i am here to share the words given by shri krishna to arjuna so that we can improve our lives do hear me out till the end and like share and subscribe to get more episodes of this podcast so let's start jai shri krishna bhagavad gita has 18 chapters each chapter has various shlokas which de- which will detailed in this podcast this episode 1 will be about chapter 1 and various shlokas श्रीमद भगवद गीता अत प्रथमोध्याय अर्जुन विषाद योग वनिष्ठुवा धृतराष्ट्र उवाच धृतराष्ट्र सेट आफ्टर असेंबलिंग एट द सेक्रेट ग्रउंड ऑफ कुरुक्षेत्र एंड डिजैरिंग टू फाइट वाट डिड मै सन्स एंड पांडु सन्स डू संजय वनिष्ठ टू संजय सेट Observing the formidable formation of the Pandava army, Prince Duryodhana turned towards his guru and spoke these words: "One is Chutri. O oh Guru, do you see the excellent military arrangement of the Pandava army led by none other than your very own gifted disciple, the son of Drupada? One is Chufo. Their army is powered by heroes like Bhima and Arjuna and mighty warriors that match their skills, namely Yudhana, Virata, and Drupada." One is Chufai, and let's not forget powerful fighters like Dushyanta Ketu, Cheki Tana, and Kashi Raja, while Purujit, Kunti Boja, and Sai Baba are heroes in society. One is to six. They also have the worthy Yuddha Manu, the mighty Uttam Mojas, the son of Subhadra and sons of Draupadi, all superior fighters. One is to seven. Now also hear about the distinguished heroes and generals to lead my army. One is to eight, and it has personalities who have never lost a battle like your grandfather Bhishma, Kripa, Ashwatthama, Vikarna, and also the son of Somadatta. One is to nine. There are many more in my army who are experienced in military warfare with expertise in using multiple weapons. Moreover, they will not hesitate to sacrifice their lives for me. One is to ten. So clearly, our strength is fathomless as compared to the limited strength of the Pandavas. We are in safe hands under the protection of Grandfather Bhishma, unlike the Pandavas who have only Bhima to protect them. One is to eleven. I call upon the entire Kauru army to give utmost support to Grandfather Bhishma throughout the battle. One is to twelve. What followed was loud blowing of the conch by Grandfather Bhishma. The elders of the Kuru dynasty sounding like a lion's roar and gladdening the heart of Duryodhana. One is to thirteen. The Kuru army then sounded its conches, kettle drums, trumpets, bugles, and horns, creating a huge uproar. One is to fourteen. From the Pandava camp, Madhava and Arjuna blew their divine conches from their glari- glorious chariot drawn by white horses. One is to fifteen. Rishikesha blew his conch. Panchajanya Arjuna blew the Devadatta. Bhima who ate voraciously and performed great tasks sounded his mighty conch pounder. One is to sixteen. Son of Kunti, King Yudhishthira sounded the sounded the Ananta Vijaya while Nakula and Sahadeva blew the Sugosha and Manipushpak respectively. One is to seventeen eighteen. Also blowing their conches were the supreme bowmen, the king of Kashi, mighty warrior Shikandi, Dushyamanyu, Virata, the invisible Satyaki, together with the king Drupada, the sons of Draupadi, and the mighty armed son of Subhadra. One is to nineteen. The resultant sound vibrations thundered across the sky and earth, filling filling the hearts of sons of Dhritarashtra with fear. One is to twenty. Arjuna, the son of Pandu, bearing the insignia of Anuman on the flag of his chariot, raised his bow in preparation to fight. Looking over the army formation of Dhritarashtra sobs, he spoke to Rishikesha. One is to twenty-one, twenty-two. Arjuna said, "Madhusudana, do take the chariot in the middle of both armies so that I can have a good look of those assembled here to fight and compete with me in this battle." O oh, infallible one. One is to twenty-three. Rishi Kesha, I must see all those who want to fight me and support the wicked sons of Dhritarashtra. One is to twenty-four. Sanjaya said. Complying with the instructions of Guru Kesha, Rishi Kesha pulled the magnificent chariot to the middle of both the armies. Guru Kesha means one who has conquered sleep. Rishi Kesha means one who has conquered all senses. One is to twenty-five. Pointing to Bhishma, Drona, and the kings of world, 
Krishna said, O Partha, look, the Kurus are all gathered here. 1 is to 26. In both armies, all Arjuna could see was fathers, grandfathers, teachers, maternal uncles, brothers, sons, grandsons, companions, in-laws and well-wishers. 1 is to 27. Seeing only the presence of uh, relatives on the battlefield, Kaunteya was overcome with compassion and spoke. Arjuna said, O oh Krishna, my, li my limbs are trembling and my mouth is drying up at the sight of very own friends and relatives here on the battlefield, ready to kill each other. 1 is to 29. My body is shuddering, my hair is standing on hand, Gandiva, my bow is falling off my hand and my skin burns. 1 is to 30. O oh Keshava, killer of Keshi demon, my mind is reeling in confusion, I see only bad omens bringing misfortune. 1 is to 31. How can there be any merit in killing my own kith and kin? O oh Krishna, I have neither a desire for winning this battle nor a desire for kingdom nor for happiness. 1 is, one is to 31. How can there be any merit in killing my own kith and kin? O oh Krishna, I have neither a desire for winning this battle nor a desire for kingdom nor for happiness. 1 is to 32, 33, 34, 35. What is the use of kingdom of enjoyment in life if those we want to share it with are present in this battle itself oh govinda teachers fathers sons grandfathers maternal uncles grandsons father-in-laws grand nephews brother-in-law and other kinma, kinsmen have put their lives and wealth on stake here I refuse to kill them. O oh, Madhusudana, even if they attack me, live alone on earth, even if you give me control of all three worlds, I will not fight. What pleasure is there in killing the sons of Dhritarashtra? I ask you, Janardana, 1 is to 36. O oh, Madhava, killing them will be committing a sin. Nothing justifies killing the sons of Dhritarashtra and our own friends. Does happiness lies in killing our own family? 1 is to 37, 38. I agree that these people motivated by greed see no harm in killing us, their friends and family. But Janardana, we need not commit the same sin as them being fully aware of the crime. 1 is to 39. Irreligious practices increases when dynasties get destroyed and family traditions are lost. 1 is to 40. With religion, women became immoral producing unwanted children, O Krishna. 1 is to 41. The unwanted population makes existence a living hell for one and all. Even the ancestors are doomed, being deprived of sacrificial offering of food and water. 1 is to 42. The net result is destruction of all dharma, whether related to family or community, merely by the evil act of breaking cultural traditions. 1 is to 43. O oh, Janardana, I have heard from learned sources that those who mess with family traditions are condemned to hell eternally. 1 is to 44. How oh, ionic that we ourselves are trying to commit the sinful act of killing our own family. And for what? Simply to enjoy kingly pleasures? 1 is to 45. I would rather die unarmed and without any resistance when attacked by the weapons of the sons of Dhritarashtra on the battlefield. 1, one is to 46. Sanjaya said, with these words, Arjuna put down his bow and ar arrows and sang to the seat, seat of the chariot with a ear overflow, overflowing with grief. Jai Sri Krishna, the message of the first chapter of Bhagavad Gita says, It is the root cause of so sorrow and suffering in this world in our inability to deal with conflict. Arjuna used logic to justify his quitting the battle. This is what many of us do. We run away from our co conflicts. Uh, and use logic or even God or religion. A whole host of rationalizations to just justify our quitting to ourselves and to others. Unless we know who we are, what God is and what our connection to that God is, we will never be able to completely resolve all our material and mental conflicts. This is the central theme of the first chapter. Jai Sri Krishna.